stakeholders in the education sector have welcomed the age restriction placed on students before entering tertiary institutions in Nigeria. Trustee Viz Habibata Jai tells us more. The federal government, through the Ministry of Education, cites 18 years as the new minimum age of admission into tertiary institutions in the country. Minister of Education Professor Tahir Mama says the law establishing the C-334 system of education in Nigeria supports these age limits. The minister, however, accepted 16 years as the admission age for the 2024-2025 academic section. Rehatting, Education is says the move by the federal government is a welcome development as it will help to curb bullying and hold devices prevalent in schools. The enforcement, I think it's quite easy um, because all admissions now go through JAMB, the Joint Admission Matriculation Board, and every applicant is expected to submit NIN, and the NIN will definitely show the age of birth and what of you. And um, it's a document that if you tamper with in the future, the candidate is affected because a Nigerian can only have one NIN number throughout your lifespan. Um, so I think it's, um, it's, um, it's something that can be enforced if JAMB is really um, ready to enforce it. Parents, however, calling for integration of skills acquisition centers as part of the curriculum to prepare students for the ever competitive job market. What I would recommend is maybe they spend one year, two years in the madras uh, memorizing the Quran, learning Arabic. And if some parents that may not be able to do that, you can also uh, send them out to learn skills. They can learn coding, robotics within those two years for them to mature enough before going to the university. They can also learn even hard skills. They can learn how to bake. They can learn uh, other hard skills that even when they get into the university, they can use it. Apart from studying, can also be another avenue for revenue generation for the uh, undergraduates going into the school. So I think it's not a bad policy, it's a good policy, and I'm hoping parents will understand the idea behind it. This move by the federal government is geared towards aligning the education sector with global best practices. Habibat Ajayi, Trust TV News, Abuja.